Hello, Sweet Tooth here. Hope your day is going well. I'm going to play some more of the Dark Room version 091. Previously, uh, my fiance and I had been playing 080. I actually like this game. The concept is really well done. I didn't know this was live performances. Now into a new story that the creator decided to share for um, the Dark Room. It's actually really neat when I looked into it. I did show pictures of Sephiroth to my fiance, and she now assures me that he looks nothing like Sephiroth. And probably not, because Sephiroth doesn't really have spikes on his, you know, spiked pauldrons and stuff. And he doesn't really have, like, totally long hair, too, so. No, I guess he doesn't. Anyways, um, version 090 on the Steam announcement page of this game indicates that you can escape Bethlehem. Now, I have actually played a lot more of the game, like trying to find the, the one ending where you don't die. And it's either, it's either hit or miss for me on certain games like this. On, you know, whether you actually get the right path or not. But I'm going to keep trying at it. Keep keep looking for it. <laughs> I mean, if you ever seen... For those that have seen my other videos of Rage games, I'm not one to quit. This is one very stubborn Darren. You know, actually... I should have said I'm Darren from the start. I probably made the, uh, probably made him mad. Yeah, I'm supposed to say I'm Darren. No matter what, you're Darren. Sort of new. Let's skip to the game. And one last thing. Let's set your level of morale. There's a tiny butterfly in front of you. It's beautiful. Grabbing it will kill it, but it will be yours. I'm going to show you a few other funny things in this, too, that I came across. It's pretty funny. Right. There's a little cat in front of you. Grabbing it will hurt it, but it will save your life. Grab it. There's a gorilla next to you. Grabbing its balls is a mistake. Grab it. <laughs> what did I just say? The gorilla beats your brains in. You die, you die, you die, you die. Hint, don't grab the gorilla by the balls. <laughs> and one last. Let's see. There's a time. It's beautiful. Grabbing it, but it will. Nope. Right. Grabbing it. Nope. There's a. Nope. Now. What? is your name if you say this one it's pretty obvious you're gonna die <laughs> good I'm pleased you remember though that pleasure dissipates rapidly at the sight of you how can you <laughs> Daryl you awake to find yourself in a dark room but how can you see me it's a dark room. You proceed in the direct. How can you be sure you're in a dark? Ha! Ah, but what a prize for being so headstrong, Darren. Bam! You have encountered a new friend, Mr. Spot. Oh, you're right, right, right. Hello. I forgot. That's how you die. <laughs> Darren, you. All right. First, because you gotta go. And, a and you're a. First you gotta say why, then you just say turn on light switch. Ugh. That's always been your problem, Darren. Self-esteem too high, think you can turn on anything. Even inanimate objects. What would you turn the light switch on with? If you say open eyes, you pretty much die. Crouch is actually pretty interesting. Uh, with my finger. Yes! Finally! 
Finally, logic has come back to the dark room. You would turn the light switch on with your finger. If your finger could find the light switch. And your finger would be able to do that. If your finger could see in the dark. Can it? <laughs> yes? No, it can't, Darren. It's a finger. My finger can hear? Fine, Darren. Your body can do things no other human beings can. Your finger can hear the light switch. It hums and drones softly and indistinctly. Now, if you lick your finger to hear better, and then you touch the light switch, you die. But even if you go find the light switch, you die, so... <laughs> You move your hand through the air as you hunt for the light switches drone and hum. Your finger listens to the light switch. Suddenly you point, yes! There's a droning coming from over there. You walk closer. Now it's louder. And is that... Is that the sound of ticking? I mean, that's what my ears are telling me, but you listen through your fingers. And one of them is about to brush that droning, ticking switch. You flip the light switch's switch! And what do you know? It wasn't a light switch. The talkative bomb in the corner of the room goes off. You die! You die! You die! You die! Why did you think it was a light switch? Did it tell you it was a light switch? And even if it did, why wouldn't it lie? Darren, you awake to find yourself in a dark room. Because it's dark and a room and you're awake in it. Ugh, that's so even what? With my finger. Yes! Finally! You, if your, if your finger, can it? Now this is how you get to the Bethlehem uh, section. My finger is normal. This is you. Oh! I'm in a dark room! That would be me, actually. What is normal? Oh, I don't know, Darren. What is normal? Right here. Christmas? <laughs> Is it? Is it? <laughs> All right. You sleep. You dream. Move to Bethlehem. Yes! The Romans are taking a census, and every man must return to the land of his fathers. You and your wife, who you never touched, get on a donkey and head off. Uh, book an inn. You forget to book an inn! Ask for a room. There's no room at the inn. Uh, ask for a room. There's no room at the inn. You have to keep doing this. There's no room at the inn. 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 Sleep in stables. Pregnant with the Messiah, you sleep. And when sleep has ended... Darren. You awake to find yourself in a dark <laughs> room. And now you're back at the beginning. <laughs> because it's... And a room... And you're a... Self... Even... What? So let's go for the other options. Yeah! If, if your fi... Can it? This is... That's normal. Oh, I don't know. Normal. I am. No. This is. You awake to find yourself in a dark room. <laughs> Death. <laughs> yes, Darren. Death is normal. Especially when you're this bad at the game. You die! You die! You die! You die! Darren, <laughs> you 
because it's and a and you're a Ugh, that's a so even what yes you pick your all right so it? let's go for the other option his finger is normal that's no oh, what is normal dreams your dreams are normal are they Darren? then you haven't been eating enough cheese let's have one now you sleep you dream and when sleep has ended you awake to find yourself in a dark room You can actually die from sleeping too much. You sleep. And when sleep has ended... Darren, you awake to... You sleep and... Darren! You sleep and when... Darren! You awake... You know so well. Wouldn't it be a shame if you were to fall asleep right now? Worn out, worn out from the triumph of victory, you sleep, which means you tumble through the hole in the floor and smash head first into the stone that lines the bottom of level two. You fail to awake to find yourself in a dark room. You die, you die, you die, you die. Let's sleep more thought. Daru, you are You know, that makes me think. At the end of the boss battle, are you too tired to make the landing? So you have to sleep at least once? I'm not really sure. Also, if you go after the light switch right now, I don't think you really find it. How will you find the light switch? You're in a dark room. You need the light switch to see. Do you see? I see. Bullshit, you see. You're in a dark room. Touch wall. You caress the wall. It's indifferent to you. Touch the other wall. Now the first wall is jealous. Apologize. They don't care, mate. They're walls. Smell room. The dark room. Smell -a, -la 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 -a of roomy darkness. That makes sense. Your mum doesn't make sense. <laughs> Then your only option is kill yourself. You self. can't kill yourself! You can't even find the light switch! Kill self metaphysically. What an odd choice. And pompous. All right, my friend. You give up believing in Cartesian dualism. And now that cosmic weight's off your shoulders, you sleep. And when sleep has ended... Darren, you awake to find yourself in a dark room. Because it's dark, Darren. And a room, Darren. And you're awake in it, Darren. <laughs> also, uh, found out, yes, the game does do checkpoints. The game does do checkpoints, but each of the checkpoints are on a different journey so to speak. So the checkpoints actually might not be on a true good path. So do not believe that when you get a checkpoint that you're automatically okay. Sometimes you'll have to restart uh, from the beginning. Sleep. You know, you've done so well as you from the floor and still your side. Darren, you Also, if you do absolutely nothing in the beginning, 
you actually encounter dialogue. Let's do that real quick. So, there really is a path to get to level 2. There really is one that you do not die. It is pretty hard to find. I haven't found it yet. I know it's there though. At least from uh, what other people keep saying. Kind of keeps making me think, like, how to actually do it. I think this takes about, like, a minute or five or something. Of just doing absolutely nothing and then you encounter the dialogue. I can't entirely remember. And I've actually kind of tried to sort through these options before. Like, which ones lead to death that I know lead to death. But, I have found out that dialogue and options and different things, everything affects other... Th like, there are certain things that affect other options. Like, subtly. Like, let's say if I picked this one, and then I picked this one, this might affect this option. So even when I know, oh, this leads to death, but if I pick this option, then this option, it might actually be different. And that's what I've uh, found out. That's what makes it a little bit harder. It's not just, oh, you go through all the options, and uh, you might find the one that actually doesn't kill you. It's that things, you know, certain options affect other options. And that might be why it's a little bit difficult for me to find, like, the way where you can survive the dark room. Gonna keep at it, though. This is a fun game, too. So, th there is a lot more to this game than you actually think there would be. Yes, you're only given a few options, but it actually stacks up in your favor and gives you an interesting adventure so you really should try this game out for yourself I really do advise that you try this game out for yourself it is good it is pretty fun it doesn't seem like much it seems like a childish novice game development thing but it's actually really good it's actually pretty innovative And if you've seen my channel, you know how many games I've played. It's actually pretty good. Not to mention, it's in early access. They are, the developers are watching to see how people actually play the game to give different or more content or change things up. They are looking for ways to improve the game. So this isn't the end all beat all. And I actually really like that. <laughs> if only I could find a way to survive until level 2. But, you know, it is mentioned in the beginning of the game that this is pretty much the dark souls of a dark room. So, the dark room is the dark souls of a dark room. And it really is. You're going to find a hard time in surviving. But, even when it's, like, really hard to survive, it's actually pretty worth it. It's a pretty worthy experience. Much better when you just go through it yourself. So yes, you can watch somebody else do it, but it's more inclusive to do it yourself. Something I totally recommend.
Also, I think I made a mistake of actually touching the mouse. Like, before. Now I'm not touching the mouse. The thing is, like, when you get the puppy, you can actually go for the light switch. And the dialogue is slightly different. Actually, if you do find the light switch, like right now, the light switch actually hates you. But if you have the puppy, it'll hate you, but like the puppy. <laughs> I just can't believe that one option. Put the dog down. I'm like, oh, okay, put the dog down on the ground. Turned into, put the dog down, as in killing the dog. And it's like, I didn't mean to choose that. <laughs> That's not something I would do if I was just stuck in a dark room and had a puppy. <laughs> That's not what I would do. I'm like, I, can, I understand it's a play on words, but oh my god. Put the dog down and like have two different meanings. You know, because you, you can't. You can't, like, do something if both your hands are full, you know, by holding a, a puppy. So you gotta put the dog down. But putting the dog down is, doesn't mean putting it on the ground. It means killing the dog. All I know is trying to make it through the dark room, there's like something that is constantly trying to kill you from above. Some mechanical spider thing. And then there's apparently like a gaping hole that's next to you or something that you constantly fall through. Hopefully I'm doing this correctly. By the way, when you look in your inventory, if you select only one option, things actually change a little bit like as opposed to you selecting all three items you know when he asked like what do you see in your inventory if you only pick like one option it's actually a little bit different I think it was the gloves mm, have to see it real quick I'm trying to trigger this dialogue like if you don't do anything. Well, so far I've gotten all the achievements, like as far as achievements go. The ones that are unlockable, like your Steam account. But even so, it's like I can't find the way to get from level 1 to level 2. Nothing, huh?
Yeah, there's like absolutely zero going on. Yeah, the thing is, if you have the puppy and you get to the boss fight, it feels like everything leads to, like, death. Even if you beat the boss. Most of it, like, fighting the boss means don't let the dog get killed by, by that boss spider thing. But even if you kill the boss spider thing, uh, you fall through the floor and then you die. So I feel like that might not be the true path. Unless you're able to like survive falling or something. I don't know. Just makes me wonder. I mean he's not going to let you find the light switch. There's no way. There's no way he'll let you find a light switch. Not in the dark room. That would beat the purpose of the dark room. Sleeping is not your answer. I guess I messed it up. Like, you're supposed to come directly into it and not make a single actual choice. I think I've already made a few choices. So I guess it's not going to work. <laughs> oh, Darren. Have you remembered what it is we do here? Or were four options just too much? Either way, you will henceforth be known as Thoughtful Darren. And I've knocked an option off, just in case it was all getting a bit hard. Oh, okay. Well, that was the dialogue for me not doing anything, but as soon as I did something, I ran into the dialogue. That's a bit strange. And the problem is, now I can't have the Y option. <laughs> Which means I can't check my inventory. I mean, this leads to death. This leads to death. So, uh... I think this leads to death. How will you find the light? You're an adult! You need the light switch! Do you see? <laughs> we know you don't see! That is why you need to... How will you find? You're in a. You need the light. Do you see? I don't think picking this multiple times helps. <laughs> we. That is why. How? You. You need the. Do you see? <laughs> we. That is. How, you're. A, you need. Do you see? I think the magic number <laughs> is five times. We know. That is why. How? You you need do you So I think it's five times is the magic number. We, that is Yeah, I don't think that's gonna lead you, to anything. Bullsh you're in a Listen for light switch. I think just makes you insane. Smell room. Oh, that doesn't I don't think that leads to much. Let's listen. You listen to the light switch, and it bores you with stories of the great war between electricity and steam. <laughs> Overcome with a moat, pitiful. You lean a. <laughs> Congratulations, Darren. You. Have found the light, or your tears have. Water runs from your face and short circuits the elect. A thousand volts of a guitar! <laughs> Darren, you awake to find yourself. <laughs> you lean. <laughs> you have four. Water. A th guitar! <laughs> you lean. <laughs> 
Oh, it's stuck in an infinite loop. Infinite loop of death. <laughs> Pretty much have to start over. And one last thing. Let's. There's a time. It's grabbing, but it will. I wonder if this morality right. thing has anything to do there's with everything else. Now. <laughs> Go. I'm. <laughs> All right, so on a serious note, I feel like this option is the only way forward. He's not going to let you find the light switch right away. This is a cross off. Sleeping only gets you killed. Going north gets you killed. So it's because why. it's and, a, and you're a sleeping gets you killed. Check pockets. This you know, joke gets you killed. Turn on light switch is kind of like a full on joke, so I think it's just check pockets. Wearing fashion too dark. So feel self gets you killed. Really check pockets gets you killed, I believe. So these two get you killed. Oh, you really want? I'm sure. Would you perhaps? Oh. You really want to stick your hands in- Hmm. I can't remember what this does. Let's go inventory See, anyways. Game of that you are. Inventory? I don't know, I've only- What's in there, Dad? Gloves. Being th so if you only pick gloves, I think oh, it's different. Darren. We all know. Right, so that's what I was thinking at one time. I was like, don't attract the puppy, only get the gloves. Because I was thinking, if you even if you if you weep and try to find a light switch, you can do it with the gloves on. But uh that doesn't really work. So all of these I believe just get you killed. You proceed. How can ha? Ah. You miss said. You die. Hello. See, then I don't know what's in it. Wonderful. Oh, it did. War and when you are weak with some gloves and some cheap hands. Eat cheese. Hungry from your slumber. Sleep. You sleep. And you away. Everything is controlled by a team of skilled manipulators. Hell bent on leeching money from your wallet the way a junkie sucks smack out of a syringe. Click heels together for Stalin? Right then, get up, click your heels together three times, and say, There's no place like Leningrad. Yes, there is, St. Petersburg. Do it again, louder. There's no place like Leningrad. Yes, there is, St. Petersburg. Do it again, louder. There's no place like Leningrad. Congratulations, Daryl. You're strange. You're strange. And insane tribute to Judy Garland will not go unrewarded. You are no longer alone in the dark room. Joseph Stalin is there with you. And where Stalin goes, he brings with him nothing but death. You die, you die, you die, you die. Hint, Gandhi was right. Worn out and wins. You are with some gloves and some hands. Eat cheese. Hungry from your Then sleep. You sleep. You are everything. Hell the way a Options. You need options, don't you? Back in the 80s, we just played the game as it was, but no, 
If you can't adjust the height of your character so it looks exactly like the version of you that you always see dressed as a fox in the sex dreams that you no doubt explain at tedious and disgusting length on the blog you no doubt maintain, you just can't handle it, can you? Fine. Have some options. 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 Actually, I run a, uh... <laughs> I ran... <laughs> I run a blog on a monster, watermelon monster girl, on Tumblr. <laughs> Whatever. What? The screen? Or your IQ? Now if you do the screen, <laughs> it goes in the hard mode where it won't show hints anymore. Like you'll just see blue and yellow. It won't, it won't tell you what the options are anymore. You're in hard mode. And I don't know if that means anything. I don't know if hard mode means you'll actually be able to beat it. I don't know. Cool. If you want to push it upwards, read more books. If you want to lower it, watch The Big Bang Theory. If you want to feel like you're pushing it upwards while actually lowering it, talk about politics on the internet. There. <laughs> Restart game. Damn it. <laughs> and one last. Let's... There's a tiny... It's beautiful. Grabbing it, but it. Right. There's a girl. <laughs> oh, I said the wrong oh. option. Dead. <laughs> Probably. Sorry. Didn't mean it. And one. Let's. There's a. But. Right. There's a girl. <laughs> I'm. The <laughs> All right, so let's try to get back to the inventory. Check pockets. Congrat. Really, check pockets. Inventory. Do all three. I have checked everything. Handsome. Eat the cheese. Hungry from your. Then sleep. You sleep. You hear the way a junkie. Hint. You want a hint? This is the wrong option. Oh, we're going for this, huh? Right then. Click your heel. There. Yes. Yes. Do. Come. And you all with some glass and some hands. Die, you die. Worn up and you with some glass and some hands. Oh, wait, I picked this and I died, didn't I? Hungry? But my pay about I think if you keep chewing it, it doesn't chewing. really do anything. You vomit. You want to clean that? Put on gloves. Curtius and you re but doubt you do you Shuffling and snuffling out of a oh my! I think it wants to eat the. Don't let it eat the vomit. You'll slip and die or something like that. Feed it cheese. We'll get you the puppy. Put gloves on puppy. We'll make it just a glove puppy. But the way that I was thinking about it before, and this was where actually where you put the gloves on. I thought if you went for the light switch with the puppy, you'd be able to turn it off. But turn it on. Doesn't work though. Are you working? Oh yes, of 
this one a ne Go on. You've got to give it a. I don't think this really matters. But everything is named Darren, so. Oh, Darren! It barks! You bark! You chase it! It chases you! Oh, you're having a. Puppies are great, aren't they? It's your little papa wapa 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 wapa. Your little. Yes! And I bet. How will you find? You're in a. You need the. Do you. Bullshit! You're in a. See, that's why when you have the puppy, it feels like. Smell the room is your option. Touching the walls, though. Oh, yeah, touching the walls says that the walls like your puppy. They don't like you, they like the puppy. Same with the light switch. The dark room. Hello! Did you hear? See, you smell the room, and I think you start to hear something come. You know, coming at you. If you hurdle the dog, you'll jump into the uh, meat hooks. So this is instant death. You hurl ground and snaps down another close to you. And each one segmented. You're going to have a boss fight, Darren. Now, if you try to run, you automatically die. If you try to feed the dog to the creature, you die because it bites off your arms and eats the dog, and you bleed to death. If you try to protect the dog, the creature that's above you, the boss fight, the spider will pretty much slash at your back and kill you. So the best option is pick up Flint. Oh, you skadara dog. Oh, you stoop. So you pick up the lint. And you can still try to feed the dog to the creature, but that's instant death. You can try to run, but that's instant death too. So, kill creature is kind of your only option. Oh, that's your solution, dear. Darren. Punch creature, I think you just... Yeah, punch creature, I think you just get your arm bit off or something. Step on creature is kind of dumb. You, is a dumb option in your on your part because it's already been mentioned. It's a huge thing that's above you. It's like, how are you supposed to step on it? It steps on you. You can throw the lint. Still all of tangled. The creatures slip you and you hurl it. The ball of hair. And fire to the beat and fear. Two have always been proud of their appearance and didn't deserve that, Darum. Oh. Huh. Well, you and the puppy had best leave. It's not that you've tested my patience. I like you, Darum. It's just that. If I were you, I would get out of here before the tiny scuttling babies inside this big prick's exoskeleton wake up and get hungry and nibble their way out to freedom. I'm not sure they have the emotional capacity to process their mother's death, but I'm fairly certain that they're born with an instinctual lust for yummy, yummy darum food. The floor opens beneath you, and you and the puppy fall. was a different ending yeah see like this like I went too fast I literally went through the options really fast right 
So, that might have an effect on things. But, I died anyways, so. <laughs> I also keep at it. Anyways, that's the dark room. This is version 091. I actually want to see where this game goes. This game is actually pretty darn fun. Uh, so I want to thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Be sure to check out this game yourself. Give it a try. Just, just give it a try, alright? See you next one.